Hi folks, in the previous tutorial you have learned how to understand the Creo Cabling assembly structure, what is necessary to prepare, how to specify the pin connections and quick example of the Creo Cabling assembly. Today I'd like to show you how to create a copy geometry and this copy geometry can be dependent and independent and I have found the three ways and maybe you will like this proposal how to bring data from one assembly into second assembly or a second component and make the copy geometry dependent or independent so let's jump i would like to show you all three methods in this video tutorial so i will delete this example here and we can directly start from scratch so we have seen that for example we would like to follow and place and wrote the cables from the one surface go through the for example cylindrical surface internal connection here and then continue and finalize the placement so let's see and what we will start is the understanding of the copy geometry if I need to create a copy geometry from one model to another one first of all is necessary create the model so directly in the assembly you are able to create subassembly and for example subassembly 001 it will be name and in this subassembly I'd like to reuse the um, template so for example this default template or you can browse and choose your custom template and also you are able to place you can sell select surface that's a surface or you are able to select the coordinate system to coordinate system and the system will place the subassembly in this subassembly yeah i'd like to show you the logic how you need to prepare and build the model for the creo cabling so first of all this is the subassembly and in this subassembly we will create so i will activate it and over here i will create a 3d model and will be copy geometry we can call it copy 01 and also I will reuse the start template and default orientation it's up to you how you would like to apply and for now I will again activate the new model which name is copy01 and this is the first example how to create a copy of the existing geometry the best way easy to use is for example that you need to select the surface and simple copy and paste so if you have a geometry here the filter is geometry or you can directly select the surface is up to you I'd like to select this surface and copy and paste so you can see here that you can use the copy function and paste function and confirm and if I would like to repeat this functionality yeah for example we would like to reuse this surface so I can select the surface copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v and middle button for the confirmation and you can see that it is really fast and also you are able to continue and select the surfaces if you would like to select the bottom surface move the mouse right mouse button and then left the system will select the bottom surface and with ctrl button you are able to select more from the same part yeah or the better practice is if you will select the first surface simply ctrl c and ctrl v yeah and then with the ctrl button you can select the another surfaces the filter is right now individual surfaces is activated and it's really easy to select additional surfaces in this method you can see that i am not allowed to select the surface from the another component so always i am able only to select from one model couple of surfaces sometimes is good sometimes is not good so you will see in the next example what to do and again I like to copy this surface so ctrl c ctrl v middle button and last but not least is this surface because over here we will place the latest pin so ctrl c ctrl v and finalize what does it mean if I will right now open the copy geometry that everything is placed here if I will use the control D as the default orientation the system will orient the model same as is oriented in the assembly and I can see here all surfaces the surfaces are dependent what does it mean 
if you change the shape of the official or original model which has been used for example this surface will be changed on the original model the surface will be and copy geometry will be updated also and change it question if you would like to have these dependencies or not if you leave it as it is it's dependent if you would like to do it independent you are able to select copy geometry editing and collapse what does it mean if i will come from ok the system will transform this surface what has been copied as the first one that is the independent and also you are able to continue and you will create the independent geometry and one by one so we will have a, for example five independent geometry sometimes it's good sometimes it's better to have a dependent component and surfaces so it's up to you also sometimes if you have a many surfaces or so many components you would like to manage the visibility by the layers so over here is the possibility that you are able to apply the layers and change the visibility i will create a separate tutorial of the this series yeah regarding the copy geometry so stay tuned and we will continue how to create independent copy geometry so it was the first example how to copy surfaces what you want and make the independent i will jump here yeah i will minimize the model tree and over here and first geometry we are able to delete now i'd like to show you the second example how to create a dependent or independent copy geometry so we will create a new 3d model for example copy 02 yeah and you will see based on the name that i am working right now on the second example so also we have okay sorry i forgot to place this object in the subassembly 001 because this subassembly 001 will be in future our cable assembly so you can see that it's really easy to drag and drop and the system will restructure the assembly so what does it mean right now the component is moved here in the subassembly and my new copy sorry small name mistake is uh, place it correctly let's continue and i like to show you the functionality copy geometry so what does it mean we will activate the 3d model and we will use the functionality copy geometry if you will select the copy geometry in default the system would like to reuse the published geometry what does it mean published geometry please have a look and check the previous tutorials and over there i have explained it the what does it mean published geometry so i don't want to use the published geometry so i will switch off this button and the system automatically show me with creo 8 the references window and you are able to select the surfaces and if i will select right now the surfaces you can see here that this surface is selected and i am able to select the another one yeah and the system would like to show this surface but it's not possible yeah what does it mean again with the copy geometry you are able to select the surfaces only from the one component so for example this is the component and you are able to add the surfaces which are connected to one 3d model so it's up to you what you need what you would like to show in the copy geometry so for example this is the first component you will come from ok and again come from ok if i will see it here it's a copy geometry as the first feature and if you would like to continue for the another one you need to select copy a geometry again and switch off the publish geometry and you can directly select the details for the surfaces and select the surfaces and if you would like to select for example some additional references for example the edges or the datum features something like axis you are able to select the the chain as the curves or as the references you are able to select the datum features for now i don't want to focus on the datum features we will continue with the simple surface selection and one by one and i like to select the same surfaces 
and as in the first example and it would be best so finish and also copy geometry from this surface yeah you see that system automatically select the surfaces and put it in the sets and last but not least and we will select surface and confirm OK great if I would like to select and see the default orientation and again I am able to open this 3D model as, and as you can see this geometry is right now dependent what does it mean you are able to select function feature and then function edit definition if you are able to select edit definition the system allow to you to use the and do you know that if you will change the original shape the system will change also the copy geometry in the option tab is also possible to set no dependency so what does it mean you will break dependency and all surfaces which are copied right now for this feature are not possible to use the edit definition so the geometry is independent it's not possible to see by icon or some but you are able to write and change and for example independent geometry 01 yeah it's up to you and then you know that this one is dependent or also you can change any of this from the dependent by edit definition option and no dependency confirm ok confirm ok and also the latest feature will be independent if you would like to change the name it's possible also do it by spacebar on the keyboard or simple right mouse button and rename and independent geometry 02 for now you have seen how it's possible to create the ind independent geometry by function copy geometry yeah so first example was control c control v it was the first example second one is the copy geometry and last one what i'd like to show you it's how you can use the shrink wrap feature what does it mean we will delete everything what was created and also i will start from scratch so we will activate the sub assembly we will create the model copy 03 and also we will place it as default if i will confirm we will activate the object what has been created and i'd like to show you how to work with shrink wrap feature and the system shrink wrap is used if you need to use the and create the envelope of the 3d models or you are able again to select the individual surfaces or datum feature and so on but in this example i'd like to show how you are able to auto collect all solid surfaces and if you confirm yes then you are able to select the functionality subset in the subset you can select in this view window check all and the system will show you considerate and ignorate components but first of all and i'd like to ignore everything so nothing will be selected and i'd like to choose which component will be included in the shrink wrap feature and selected as the surfaces so what does it mean we will select one by one with a control button necessary components which are or which will be used for the creo cabling and if you will select all these components you can select functionality consider and simple confirm open button right now it's an automatic update so if you will change the geometry system will again create the dependent copy geometry if you would like to use the independent you can select no dependency confirm ok and confirm ok again if i will open the 3d model copy 03 you see here that all surfaces from the component has been selected included in the shrink wrap feature and you see that everything is here and in the future you are able to select and manage for example the visibility by layers 
As I mentioned, it will be explained in the next tutorial. I hope so that you like this video tutorial. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.